Hello guys, in this video, we are going to learn that how you can create drop down list in an Excel file. The objective of creating the drop down is to give the option to an user to select the option from the list so that you can restrict the unwanted entries input by the user. You can also use this drop down option for creating awesome interactive dashboards and reporting purpose. The benefits of the drop down is that it is simple. It can make your entries fast and it also standardizes your data set. It also gives you the accuracy. In this video, we are going to cover a few topics like how you can create drop downs from list and ranges, how you can use the keyboard shortcuts to select items and what is the best way to copy the drop downs to other cells. And also I'm going to explain that how you can handle the errors and customize the errors information pop up on the screen. I'm also going to explain that how you are going to update your drop downs with new values. So let's start learning this. Now on my screen, you can see on the top, I have data entry form and uh, at bottom I have dashboard. So I'm going to explain what the methods. So what you need to do where you want to create the drop down list, select that cell, go to data and under this data you will have this data validation icon in the prior version you will see the data validation written in the different format so you might not be seeing the menu which i'm seeing on my screen because i'm using office 365 so what you need to do you need to click on this data validation click data validation and this screen will pop up under the setting option what you need to do you need to click this drop down and select the list and once you do that here you can write the entries okay like australia then comma india comma united states like this and you can add as many countries as you want then you can click ok once you click ok you can see here i have selected this cell and i can see the drop down button and once i click on this i can see these entries australia india united states so that is how you can create the drop down from the list before i move forward i request you to please subscribe my channel by clicking on this button and click on this bell icon to get all the notifications from me let's continue now let's understand how you can create the drop down list from a list because whenever you will be using a big data sets, okay, like uh, suppose if you have 10 to 15 entries, it is not possible to write each and every name again and again. So that could be difficult. So in that case, what you can do, you need to select the cell, go to data validation, go here and select list, remove this, press equal to sign and go to the tab where or go to the range where your entries are listed. So I have listed my country's entry in list tab. I'm going here, I'm selecting all the entries and once I select it, I click OK. So once I do that, I can see my entries are here and I can see the drop down is updated with all the entries listed on the tab. Now suppose how you can update it with the name manager. So because in my case, uh, in most of the places I prepare big reports, I create different kind of drop downs. So what I do, I basically use name manager. So what I need to do, I need to select the cell here. I need to type D list or whatever name you want to type like D list. I enter and go to formulas under formulas in name manager. You can see this D list. Okay. So in this D list, I have this list range A2 to A7 and I close this. So once I come back on this tab, I click on this cell, go to data and under data, I need to click data validation. And uh, here I just type equal to D list and then press enter. So in that case, you will not be needing to go here and there. And also it is easy to use. So suppose if you have multiple tabs and it is not easy to move to the different sheet and selecting the range. Am I right? So just create the names and just put it in the drop down, and that can help. So that is how you can create the drop downs with the name manager. So now I'm going to explain that how you can select the entries directly from your keyboard. So what you need to do, you need to select the cell, press and hold alt key and then press down arrow key. Okay. And leave the alt key. Now what you need to do, you need to just use your up and down arrow key and select the entries which you want to select. So if you want to select like uh, Japan, you can just select Japan and press enter. Once you do that, your entry will be selected. So that is the shortcut to select the entries directly from your keyboard. Okay. 
Now we are going to learn that how you can copy the drop down to the different cell. So now you can see I have this Japan here and I have this drop down option enabled. But if I select the second cell, I don't see that drop down option. So if I want to extend this drop down to other cells, what I can do, I need to select all these cells till where I need to extend this and then go to this drop down and I need to click on this data validation. Once I click on this, I will see this option. The selection contains some cells without data validation settings. Do you want to extend data validation to these cells? You need to press yes. And once you do that, you click OK and that's it. And that will be applied. So that is the first method to apply the apply the drop down to other cells. Now I'm going to explain that how you can enable the drop down to other cells without this option. So let me undo this. Now you can see that it is undone. And uh, if I want to copy this to other cell, the second method is to copy this cell, select all the cell, right click, go to paste special. And here I have this validation. Once I do that, I click OK and that's it and it will be applied and I can see this option. So that is the second method of applying the drop down to the other cells. Now we are going to understand how you can handle the error. So suppose if I'm entering something which is not listed in the list. Okay, so you can see that it is not listed here, Russia. So if I write Russia here, it will not accept and it will show me this error. Okay, so it is a cross sign, which means that it is stopping me to enter this. Okay, this value does not match the data validation restriction defined for this cell. So let's cancel this, go back to data validation. And once I click here, I can see error alert. In the error alert, what I need to do show error alert after invalid data is entered. So if you untick this, you click OK. So if I enter Russia, it will accept it. So you can either remove this option if you still want to show the error. So click on this so that it will restrict the user to enter unwanted entries. In this window, we have a style. In style, we have three options. Stop. Stop is something that will restrict the user. But if you use warning or information, it will give an option to the user whether they want that entry to be accepted or not. Let's see. What I'm going to do, I need to select stop. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to alter the error message which I was seeing on my screen when I was entering Russia. So I clicked on this, I selected stop and here I will say error entry is not accepted please select it from list then click ok once you click ok and uh, if i type russia here and i press enter i can see the customized error am i right so that is how you can customize the error now if you go back to this data validation here you have warning in warning i will be using the same title and same error message if you want to use something else uh, you can use it then click ok and once I do that and if I type Russia now what will happen that it will give me an option whether I should accept this entry or not. So it is saying at entry is not accepted please select it from list. So you can change this verbiage and if you want to continue continue press yes and it will accept. If you press no it will not accept. So press no it will not accept and it will highlight that. So that is how you can use warning. Now we are going to understand that how you can use information in once you select information like uh, you can change these verbiages you click OK and I can enter Russia. It will show me this message Russia but it is showing me this error entry is not accepted please select it from this. If I click OK that's it it will be accepted but it will not cancel that. Okay so that is how you can use these errors and handle this. Now we are going to learn how you can dynamically update your values or how you can update the values. So what you need to do, you need to go back to list and let me write Russia here. And if I go to data validation use here, what I need to do, I need to go back to data validation and go to settings and delist. Okay, so I have already given the range. Let me go back to my name manager formulas and then name manager here. I have this is listed till A7. So I need to increase the range till a8 and once I do that I click close and it will show me this message plus yes and this will be updated and it will be showing me this message so that is the one way now second way because uh, I was entering this then I was going to formulas name manager and then editing the range it could cause delay and it is tedious job so what I want I want to work dynamically with this list so how I can do that I need to convert my list range into table 
So what I need to do, I need to select the range, go to home, select table and convert it into table. Let's click on this. My table has header, click OK and that's it. Okay. So now what do you need to do? You need to write index formula, bracket on, select this range. And once you select this, uh, you will see this at uh, option. Just remove this and it will select entire country and then row number will be blank. This will be blank and then press enter once you press enter it will convert this entire formula into range copy this go to formulas name manager new and here you can write d list one so it is the dynamic range remove this and just mention your formula click ok and once you do this close this you can remove this also go back to data validation use and here go back to data and go to data validation go to data validation go to this data validation and select settings list and here you just need to mention the list one click ok and once you do that you can see the country is updated and it is working let me update my new country united kingdom and once i press enter i go back to this and here i can see it is appearing automatically if i keep adding countries here it will keep adding the names so let me add one more country africa go back to data validation use and here i can see africa is also updated and uh, you can select these drop downs from the shortcut key alt down arrow key and then you can navigate so that is how you can use this option drop down now let's understand that what is the use of these drop downs in the dashboard so let me create a similar drop down here data validation select me uh, let me select list equal to sign d list one click ok now i can see this option and if i select any country it automatically calculate the revenue generated and you can just put the formula like sum if s and then select the sum range is sales volume criteria range is country then select the criteria and press enter and now if you change the country name okay from the drop down this will auto update that is the use of this drop down in the dashboard. So that is how you can use drop downs in your dashboard and give an option to user to play dynamically with your dashboard. Now we are going to learn that how you can clear the filter from all these cells. So what you need to do, you need to select the cells from where you want to clear the uh, clear this drop down. You need to go back to this data validation and here you can select any value. But if you click OK now, it will remove the drop down but it will not remove these error alerts so in that case what you can do just go to setting and click on this clear all and if you want to apply these changes to all the other cells with the same settings you can click clear all and once you do that you click ok and this will remove all the filters from all these cells where you have used the same settings so hope you understood how you can create the drop downs but still if you have questions just go to the comment section ask your question and i will answer at the earlier sections thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please do like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel and keep connected we are going to learn very interesting topic about excel see you soon bye bye